Hi, welcome to my channel again. Um, I'm Ashley. We're going to be doing the wonderful W2 assembly and unboxing for you right now. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to give you some insight so that you can get through yours easily and get strolling faster. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's anything that you want me to unbox in the future or do a review, and I'd be happy to do it. You can go ahead and uh, let me know. So uh, here we go, get into the video, enjoy. So this is how it looks when you pull it just out of the box. I've got all of the pieces here around, and we're gonna go ahead and start setting it up. So this is the wonderful W2. You're gonna go ahead and extend out the chassis and lock the sides in place. And then you cover up the sides, those hinges, with these covers. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put on the front tires. Really easy to do. I would advise a little bit of caution though because they are hard to get off. So you're gonna want to align the peg with the hole. You'll hear a little click. Pull on it to make sure it's secure. And then repeat the process. Okay, so now we do the back tires. Not gonna lie, I've tried to do this several times. So I am enlisting the help of my husband. Uh, I've tried, you need to specifically line the wheel up correctly. And I tried, but I couldn't even shove the tire in all the way much less to pin the other piece on that has to go through a certain way. This is like the third or fourth time we've recorded this, so I'm just gonna pass it off to a professional here, let him explain it to you. So you're gonna see there's a hole in the little axle bar there, and there's also a hole on this part of the wheel. You wanna make sure that when you're sliding it in, that the holes are aligned. You can slide it in too far, but you can always just pull it back a little bit. There I kind of, as I put it in there, I actually didn't align it the right way, so I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna slide it in right there. Okay, so now I have the holes aligned. Then you're gonna pick up this little piece here and make sure you put it in with the uh, little nub part on top there. It's a little difficult, and if you do it the wrong way, it's gonna be very hard to take out without bending your nail backwards. So, uh, do this again. This one's a little more difficult. I appreciate the sacrifice you make for the channel. Here we go. Here you go. All right. So I'm putting this again. This is the bottom. This is the top. We're going to put it from the top to the bottom. I'm going to have to pull this back just a hair. There's too many ways for me to do this wrong. Okay. This seems to be just... Oh, too far. Try it again. <laughs> this is the one we had difficulty with before. This is the real. So, <laughs> we, last time I actually, it was only able to make it fit the other way around, and then it was almost impossible to get out. Here we go. There we go. All right, so that's <sighs> it. Tire's done. We're taking a break. We got an update here because we pulled out the handlebar, and uh, there's two bolts that go on either side. One here, one here, and one of them is missing. So uh, we have one for one side, and the other one we have nothing for. So my husband is over there scavenging for parts. Hopefully we find something that'll work. Maybe it do. Okay, well, we'll see what comes of it. So let me just test here. This is the My apologies for the changing lighting as this video has gone on. We didn't imagine we were going to run into so many problems, but we found a workaround. So Thomas, take it away. First, we're going to go ahead and attach the rear wheels to the chassis of the Wonderful. You're going to make sure you align. Let's just say first. Align each side in there first. Then there's two little spring-loaded silver little buttons you're gonna carefully without pinching yourself lock those securely in place and I'm gonna go ahead and lock the wheel so this thing doesn't go down the driveway next for the handlebar you're gonna it's gonna come with a, a wrench um, 
And it's also gonna have two sets, it should have two sets of this bolt here with the nut. This one was actually missing one of the bolts. I was able to scrounge around the garage and find uh, another bolt with uh, another nut here so that I'm able to secure the handlebars. We're gonna go ahead and place this thing on there. It's the same either way. Looks like I have to adjust this here. Okay, push that down until you align the holes like that. Then you're gonna go ahead and slide the bolt from the inside out through the handlebars. It may not go all the way through, so you're gonna have to do some lifting and pushing. There we go, until you get that through. I'm gonna go ahead and place the nut here. I'm gonna finger tighten it for now, and then I'm gonna use the tool afterwards. This is my, my own bolt here. Same thing here. I'm just gonna finger tighten that for now. I'm probably gonna need my own tool to tighten that as well as this probably won't work. So you're gonna tighten it like this. It may help if the bolt is spinning on the other side. It's not doing that for me, but to use a screwdriver, a Phillips head screw to hold that screw in place as you tighten it. And that should be tightened up. The screw is starting to spin a little bit, but it doesn't come with a screwdriver, so you can have to figure that out yourself. Okay, so I've decided to take a step back on this one. I'm just gonna sit down and have an adult beverage and let my Thomas take over. So he's gonna walk you through the rest of this assembly. All right, so before we move on, the handlebar is adjustable for people of different heights. Um, you need to push buttons on both sides. At the same time, locks in place. For the brake, it's actually pretty, pretty good. You just need to step it down, and it locks both back wheels. My lock is just the reverse of that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you, now we have one of the seats in place. The seats are, gonna, are just gonna snap onto the sides and clip onto the back. Pretty simple. You're just gonna shove that over the fabric of the frame, just from both sides. On the back, you're just gonna wanna get the, the male end, put in the female end of the buckle, and then tighten that like that. That way the, uh, oh, I could move the seat back a little bit. It's in a kind of reclined position, but uh, you can adjust that as you need it. For the canopy, you're just gonna have this single piece of U-shaped uh, metal for both sides. And it's literally just going to slide into place for both sides. It doesn't snap in, it just kind of gravity holds it in place. Um, be aware of that when you're hitting a bump or when your kids are messing with it. But then you can adjust the top part um, based on wherever the sun is, um, or you can probably just slide it down all together if you don't want it. <laughs> you probably don't want to do that though. <laughs> Alright, so I just removed the canopy and now I'm going to show you how you can store it in the back of the Wonderful. First, I'm going to uh, upright position the handlebar uh, so I can have better access to these uh, parts that will catch the frame. I'm going to put one side in just a little bit so that I can get the other one in. That way they don't fall out. And then you can put the handlebars back and you're good to go. Next thing we're going to show you is the handle strap, which we found at the front of the Wonderfold. And it's a just a piece of fabric with a bigger loop on one side and a smaller loop on the other. The bigger loop is for the handle. The smaller loop is going to be used when assembling it. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw the, uh, the side with the bigger loop through the smaller one. And that's it. In order to collapse the Wonderfold, you're going to have to first remove the seats as it will not collapse with the seats on. It collapses accordion style, so first you're going to make sure that you Lift up these flaps, <coughs> exposing the, the hinge points, and you're gonna take this part off the, it's a, it's a little latch that keeps it from being able to fold. So I pulled that off, and now I'm just going to lift it up like that. And then there is a latch here that makes sure that it stays closed. Thank you for joining us on our wonderful W2 assembly video. We hope that it's helped you. We, we know we had to learn a few things along the way, so hopefully we save you some of that uh, learning process, and we hope that you enjoy your wonderful. That's right. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. If you find you're missing some hardware, uh, go ahead and just bring whatever you're missing. Um, 
bring the bolts, bring the nut, go to Lowe's or Home Depot so you know what you're looking for, so you can replace whatever you need. See you on the next one. Fabric, it's got a, uh, um, a bigger loop on one side, that's going to be the handle, and it's got... <laughs> and it's just a simple piece of fabric, it's got a bigger loop on one side, smaller loop. <laughs> you're laughing, I'm sorry.